All right. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shopcast. We're streaming uh, live right now on Shop 31 and Horror Hangout. Um, I just want to get people the knowledge that Horror Hangout exists, and we do this show every week, but uh, streaming it on Shop 31 helps get other people that may not know about Horror Hangout to see that we're doing this. So if you're familiar with me from Shop 31 and you don't know this, I have another channel where we do movie talk, mostly horror, not all horror, but mostly horror movies. And uh, we do a live uh, podcast every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Central, roughly 9, 9, 15. And we talk about a movie that we, we rotate picks. So this week's movie was Slugs, if you can't tell by the graphics on the, on the screen. Um, actually, we did Beauty and the Beast. It was a Disney pick. But um, no, we did Slugs. Uh, this was my pick. Surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. I think it came out, what, 88 or something like that? Yeah, I think it's 88. Like um, bro, this movie is badass. Uh, so, <laughs> before before I even go into how terribly good this movie is, uh, we are creeping up on episode 100, and I would love to have anybody that's interested in watching that episode with us because this is big, man. We've been doing this a couple of years now, and 100 is a pretty big deal. I'm very proud of this shit. So, um, we're thinking about this is just up in the air right now, but possibly doing it all three of us live. Um, what I was thinking was is if we couldn't all get together, or even if we could. Somebody was telling me that the Amazon Prime watch party thing was pretty easy to do now. Oh, yeah. My idea was maybe have a movie we've all kind of seen, we can talk through and just bullshit with, but have it like all of us watching it together, not on yeah. the screen here because I can't do that. I'll get pulled, but if we have a watch party and everybody can watch along with us. They'll know exactly what we're talking about because they can talk with us on the on the video. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We could, you know, give it a try. Maybe, maybe, maybe even try it later on and do it for another big episode, but it's something I want to try. To incorporate in this is i think it would be a great idea do y'all remember when we when i first started doing watch alongs with carissa yeah. we did it every friday night mm -hmm. for like a little while man yeah. and it, it it didn't work out that well but back then we didn't have a way to do it like we do now like this watch party thing may really i might be able to jump back in doing that a little bit not often i don't know if i'm gonna do it every week but it was it was fun man it was cool to do yeah. so it was if you have any input on a movie you'd like us to review or whatever you got any ideas for episode 100 let us know man throw it in the comments let me get the uh, live comments up if anybody wants to say hi. And if you are here with us, please like the video. I'd appreciate it. It'll get us out in the algorithm a little bit more. All right. So slugs. It is definitely about slugs. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really know what to say about this movie because I didn't. I don't even know that I'd ever seen it. Because once I started watching it, I was like, huh, I don't recall seeing this before. But my memory is so bad that that doesn't really surprise me. But nothing about it. Like spark the memory. Usually, when I don't remember a movie, I'll watch it ten minutes in. I go, okay, never mind. I've seen this. Shoot, even if it's thirty minutes in, I'll something will spark. No, nah, dude, I was guessing the whole time. <laughs> when all the slugs blew up, it didn't spark a memory. <laughs> Not even a little one. But uh, yeah, man, it was uh, it was. I, <laughs> what do you talk about? With yeah, this movie? <laughs> has anybody seen Alligator? Because it's like that, but with slugs. Like it's about a town that gets overrun by like mutant slugs that eat meat and not ve not vegetation <laughs> like i don't yeah. it's got you know here's the thing though it's got pretty great kills like the kills were pretty awesome there's and some, then in between yeah. that it's like just a bunch of like not nothing like there's yeah although yeah. josh you said that the that the dialogue was just the worst i don't really understand oh it was bad <laughs> no 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 I'm not saying that it wasn't but, bad, and I'm definitely not saying that it was good. <laughs> what right. I am saying is that I've seen worse on other movies. Like, oh, I, yeah. I don't know. I was waiting for it to be like so bad that even I was like, oh my goodness. But <laughs> I think like four or five times I told Chris, I don't really understand what Josh was saying. And she goes, well, it's not good. I said, no, it's definitely not good. And uh, I was like, but it didn't. I was expecting it to be just. I mean, I think maybe you just had my expectations a little too high because if you had said anything, I might have been like, oh. But um, well, the, actually, the dialogue I actually liked was the cop yeah like, dude let's go that's, he, that's my guy he, dude he just said the stupidest shit to everybody and was just like, like the chief guy right the old guy yeah 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 the, dude that guy was yeah, awesome bro he was i think he's probably my favorite character in the whole movie yeah me too I, him, was, him with the slugs yeah his his lines were probably my favorite part of the movie <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious i definitely definitely liked his stuff too um sorry it just gonna, the way but the way he here. delivered it was entertaining to me too because he almost like like he could have used like a rim shot after every line he's like i mean whatever 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 rim shot and then 
you know, next line. Like he just the way he delivered it was. Well, he's was, such a shithead. Yeah, and I, I kind of liked the uh, Mike dude. He was like kind of a turd. Like I don't know, Which man. One was Mike the main guy? The guy that was like okay, the, like the lead, the lead yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't, he, he, I don't remember names. <laughs> No, I just remembered his name because it was like Mike something. And I, for a minute, I thought he said Mike Barry. And I know it. Never mind. It doesn't matter. But like it just stuck <laughs> with me because it was Mike. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. The movie was incredibly silly. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I forgot most of this movie already, to be honest. I mean, I probably did, too, because I wasn't like, <laughs> you know, I wasn't, it wasn't like I was like freaking out about it. But I was definitely having a good time. Yeah, I mean. I, the, the the practical effects were were good. And well, that's, that's kind of what my thought process was. Yeah, just the everything like the music was oh, hilariously bad. You. Oh my god, dude, it was <laughs> the worst music of any movie that I have ever seen because it, none of it makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I said on my letterbox review I thought it was made by aliens because it's yeah, like bro, it's, it's like it's like they watched. Like they've never met a human being before, and they watch a soap opera, and that's how they think how they think that humans are. And they just base everything off of that. Well, I mean, I I, I did have a good time watching it though, man. Like, yeah, because I because I own it. I have it on DVD. I don't have like a Blu-ray or anything. I just I, I happen to have a copy that I think I bought a collection and it was in there. And I was like, this looks awesome. I'll no 4K this. of this, or oh, I would definitely buy a 4K of this. Uh, 100% I would own a 4K of this, like 1,000%. But, um, like, I'm actually doing a whole gore score video for this, like 100%. I need, I, there's some, because there's some, there's some cool stuff in there that I want to put clips of. Like, I got a bunch of ideas for things that are going to make these videos really funny, dude. Like, the, the fact that their idea of how to kill the slugs is just to shoot shit at them to blow Ex- them to explode blow them up they explode half a town I mean, like, gonna, you know, that's the worst <laughs> possible idea <laughs> and the sheriff that was a dick the entire time just shows up at the end and is like i'm fine with this yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, I thought it was like shockingly gory for a movie that felt really tame until the kills happened and then you're like because yeah, you're like, it was. It almost like lulls you to sleep, and you're like, oh, yeah. oh, Jesus, a guy's face is gone. Like, yeah, it was like, it was like a bad Spielberg movie, and then this, this crazy gory stuff. Yeah, for, yeah, like a slug coming out and like devouring people. It was, <laughs> My it favorite was... part was one that I didn't even catch on first go. Chris, I had to stop it and go, "Did you see that?" Because I didn't react to it, so she assumed I didn't. I was taking like or writing stuff down. Was whenever he puts his hand down and the slug bites his finger. That, yeah, that was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I literally was like, I, I mean, I was shocked. I was like, what in the f- is going on? But yeah, uh, a lot of it, a lot of it was just, a lot of it almost looked like still images. Like they were just showing like a big still image and then, you know, moving the camera around. Yeah. But like none of the slugs were actually moving or doing anything. But yeah, they did have like that one. Being fast forwarded a little bit. Yeah, that one little clip where I forget yes. exactly. Exactly who it was reaches their hand down and then it just bites their finger was mm-hmm. was hilarious. What do you mean by one viewer is crazy? I mean it's Thursday night at like nine thirty. I'm not expecting a hundred people, but are you talking about we only have a hundred one person on here right now? <laughs> we got a couple. Yeah, well, a couple. Yeah. Also, you know, what I, you know what I figured out? I figured out that this thing, the little count thing on here, mm-hmm. extremely inaccurate. Because I go and look yeah. at my analytics after every video. Every live, any, any, yeah. anyways, you know, and it'll tell me like peak peak viewers concurrently, and it's never what this says ever. It's always a that's not like a ton, but it's never like four, for instance. It's never that. So yeah. I think this count thing is very off. But yes, one viewer is pretty bum. It's pretty 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 shitty. But uh, you know, whatever. Not everybody's in the slugs. Not only not only that, but like slugs not... didn't draw people in. <laughs> No, they, they're supposed to come here for our bickering and arguing. That's what they're supposed to come. Oh for. yeah, well, that's starting a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this movie was awesome, man. I mean, there's really not a lot to it. I, I really, I, I wasn't sure. A, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be any good. I wasn't yeah. sure if we we're gonna like it. I was pretty positive that because I've seen, I didn't watch the reviews, but I watched that. Okay. Um, Cap. 
yeah, I don't know what I'm talking shit that's, about. That's but... that's that's young people's term that I don't know what. No, means. no, they're telling me that I'm full of shit. Oh, about okay. Something. <laughs> about something. Okay. I don't know what, but I mean, this is a probably a 16 year old boy with some, I don't know, fucking weird ass photo of some girl he'll never fuck. Yeah, I I know what it means, but I'm too old to to. I don't know what it stands for, but I'm too old to know what it actually means. Yeah, these fucking young kids, man. <laughs> they're cool. But uh, <laughs> they're thinking the exact same shit about us. <laughs> Except they got on our video. So. Yeah, I was born <laughs> chill, motherfucker. What are you talking about? You chill. <laughs> I like it whenever people talk shit and then you respond and they're like, wait, why are you talking shit? I'm like, what are you talking about, you fucking idiot? But uh. Yeah, slugs. <laughs> my my favorite part was right after the couple finished having having sex, and then they get off the bed. Dude, it was like, like, it was like <laughs> floor's lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. They're just like get pulled into the floor. Dude, like, that shit was amazing. Yeah, and it's literally like just them kind of rolling around in like fake slugs with oh, like like, like, with, like red dropped all over coloring them. all over. Yeah. Them. <laughs> We're like ah, ah it's really not nothing happening. Yeah, they're just, they're just getting <laughs> like how are slugs like pulling you down when you're like trying to climb out the window too? <laughs> yeah, they're super slugs, bro. Yo, yeah. I want to get slug life tattooed on my stomach now <laughs> <laughs> with like a slime trail. <laughs> oh man, yeah. You know, you I watched. Uh, I watched a. Uh, this is so off subject, but I watched a. a, a Shocking podcast i know right <laughs> either of y'all have any experience listening to like bone thugs and harmony yeah josh do you at all i do not i didn't think i mean so. i only really know their first album okay. or the the big album i don't I'm assuming it's their first album with yeah. crossroads and yeah, it was their first major label album i believe yeah. i think they had one before it but i'm not 100 percent sure i can't remember yeah that's um, that sounds right uh i'm botting out Okay. Thank you. Um, that, I don't know what it means, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have a tattoo on my leg that a fucking nine-year-old did, so I'm, I've done stupid things with tattoos. It hurt really fucking bad. <clears throat> but uh, I completely lost my train of thought about the Bone Thugs and Army thing, so if it comes oh. back to me, I'll tell you. But anyways, yeah. Crazy Bones is shit. I'll just stick with All it. Right. That guy's awesome. Uh yeah, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot else to talk about about this movie. It was just awesome. It was it was silly. Oh, I do want to. I can't remember how long it was. It didn't seem that, like it was that long, but it did feel like it was longer than I expected. It was right an hour and a half, I think. Was right? it? Yeah, it's a ninety minutes, I think. Okay. See, I I didn't watch it on Tubi. I have it on DVD, so I oh. I, I think I just was expecting it to go a little faster than that. I'm so used to movies being so either really really long or really really short at this point. Yeah, it I was really, another one that definitely went a little a little too long. Like it could have been probably, you know, 70, 80 minutes. Yeah. It took like half an hour for well, you know, really anything to happen. It wasn't quite as yeah. long as Night of the Demons. Yeah. But it took a little bit. Well, it's yeah. one of those things that like in a movie like this, um, let me just uh, put this person in timeout. <laughs> and you can behave yourself. You can come back and play. Anyways, um, <laughs> oh, you're, distracting, the power. you're distracting the host, <laughs> bro, man. I'm fucking like a, I'm like a six year old, dude. It's real easy. So calm down with that, please. Uh, it's one of those movies that like you, you kind of wonder when you're watching it, like, what did they think people were here for? Yeah. Why don't we get to the point? Like start killing people. Like I didn't come to watch slugs mm -hmm. to actually try to learn anything about slugs. I don't care where they come from. I don't care what they eat. I want to watch them eat people. Yeah. As many people as you could possibly get into a 75 to 80 minute movie. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, overall. Yeah. I mean, the reason, facts, by the way, facts. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the reason I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with this one because, you know, the guy that made pieces did it. So I was like, okay, that movie. Oh! That's actually what caught my attention about it was that I looked up something else and I saw that that dude had made this and I was like, mm -hmm. I think I have that. And that's what caught my attention initially. Yeah. I completely okay. forgot. I couldn't remember why I, what, I mean, I, I picked it cause it, it fits my profile, but like sure. I, I, 
didn't know that that guy had directed the, the same dude. Mm -hmm. And I was looking up something unrelated and saw it. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay, that, that's cool. And I thought it might have a little bit of promise because of that is what I was getting at. For sure. Yeah, I mean, and I, Pieces is awesome. So Yes, I agree. Yep. Uh, yep. Th this movie definitely feels like the same guy. Um, <laughs> honestly, I just wish it had been sleazier. Like, yeah. if you're not going to, yeah. like, yeah. If, if you're not going to, like, have them eating people in the beginning, at least, you know, give us some some naked girls or something. <laughs> dude, even a big old dick. I don't care. Something hilarious, dude. Make a big right. dog just flop in front of the screen. That's, like. that's why Pieces is so cool because it's like you get a kill yeah. like in the first scene and then you get, you know. A bunch of naked people. A bunch of naked yeah. people and then more killing. And it, like there's never like more than like seven minutes where something, <laughs> something entertaining happens. Now I want to go back and watch Pieces again. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Uh, yeah, I watched that not too long ago too. Yeah, this one just felt kind of tame. Yeah, but I, I do I do think this is a good entry level like silly movie, you know, like for people yeah. that are like kind of getting interested in this stuff, especially if you're like, yo, I, I, I'm starting to get into horror movies, and then your first question is like, okay, do you have a girlfriend or or boyfriend or whatever, and they're like, yeah, and you go, do they like horror stuff? And eh, not really, they get scared easily, or they don't like this or that. Yo, this is the kind of movie you go here. You want some old '80s like cult classic shit? Grab Slugs because it's not going to scare anybody, no. and it's not <laughs> too gross. So they start yeah. liking stuff like this. Then the next step is something a little darker. And then you go maybe get to into pieces pretty soon after that. You know. Also, sure. yes, you're very correct with this. Hell yeah. It's <laughs> freaking slow. <laughs> it's freaking slow. Yeah. Absolutely correct. <laughs> How funny would it have been if the movie was just five minutes long? Because the moment they saw slugs, he just poured salt on it. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking movie over. <laughs> yeah. Ah, slug. Roll credit. You're like, okay. That's, that's what I was hoping would happen. They just get a giant, uh, like a dumpster truck <laughs> full, full of salt and just pour it in the sewer. <laughs> yeah, it was a. What? Why were there so many of them? That uh, that I don't know. That I maybe they've talked about. They 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 reproduce. Was oh, because they're asexually. Yeah, they're 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 that's what it was. Yes. Yeah. That's what it was. They can just go do their own thing. I'm assuming that's what they were getting at with throwing that line in there. This, yeah, uh, yeah. Why, why they've overrun the town so much, and the explanation of the town being built on a, you know, nuclear waste. Like, oh, that's why know. they got all crazy. I forgot, about, dude. Yeah, yeah this, I, this movie went in one ear and out the other, real, real, yeah. real comfortably. But uh... <laughs> now, my 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 thought watch is like this. Like, you could have made this worse, and it would have been better. I think. No, one hundred percent. If if tro <laughs> if, if trauma had had done this, if trauma I, had I, done I this, it would have been well. Never mind. I don't know that I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that, that maybe it would have been sleazier, but I don't know that it would have been better. Yeah, as I said better is is I guess dependent on how you define better. But there's a lot of missed opportunity in this movie though, because there's not one scene where slugs were fucking. Oh, yeah, you don't do that. That's right. Yeah, so I thought that would be funny, but I'm like, I guess if, oh, I guess it'd been pretty funny if they were shaped like that snake eating its own tail. It's fucking. <laughs> Welcome to horror hangout, folks. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my man, God. that's hilarious. I mean, let's not act like if dudes could suck their own dicks, we wouldn't all be calling in sick twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> dude i remember in high school uh we were talking with some friends and there's always that one guy that's like just extremely uncomfortable with everything and you know it's not at all calm so we we're all talking about something and one of the girls was like if you could suck your own dick you would and all of us were like yeah probably as one dude just would never admit it turned out like five years later we found out he was gay we're like oh no because you're sucking everybody else's dick that's cool though do you bro <laughs> i don't care but uh yeah man <laughs> that's hilarious oh geez all right man slugs that was fun um yeah was this rated r it had to be right yeah i mean yeah pretty sure it was oh man oh his name was michael garfield anyways whatever a health inspector through the synopsis of this is one sentence yeah a health inspector and two helpers hunt mutant killer slugs that call the sewer home let's not get too detailed there yep um it's not wrong, but you know what? <laughs> you're, you're correct, sir. For anybody that's interested, it is on Tubi for free. So if you want to go yeah. check it out, you can watch it without paying anything, which is always nice. Um, yeah. And before we talk too much further, what are we watching this week, guys? We want to talk about it so we can let everybody know so they can watch it with us. 
Uh, so we're going to watch uh, George Romero's Martin. Is that Martin. out on something to watch? It is not on a streaming service, but it is on YouTube. Okay. okay. And I I watch like five minute, minutes of it on my, on my TV, and it's watchable. Okay. okay. It's not like cool. a horrible quality. So. Okay. Yeah, because I know they've been... Buttholes in, I mean, I wish... <laughs> i was like invade what orifices gotcha. yeah, that's, that should definitely have happened yeah that would have definitely and, improved the movie <laughs> i mean look dude i'm not gonna lie man i thought the movie was awesome like like legit i enjoyed it i'm gonna watch it again for sure i mean i'm making yeah. a whole video on it so i clearly liked it at least a little yeah, but yeah, um yeah, i didn't i didn't love it i didn't hate it i was right in the middle um yeah it was it was Say it, if it would have been worse, it would have been a little more fun, I think. So it was just just on that edge for me of mm-hmm. oh god, that's so bad, or oh that's so stupid, or like if if I could have just shut that part off, like yeah, that's the, had some more fun. That's the thing. Like I, it feels like they were trying to actually make a movie. It like it wasn't like self aware enough. No, that's what makes it funny to me. <laughs> right. Like, is it they were like no dude don't say it like that say it like this and the guy was like oh yeah okay it took the serious notes and shit and then he went and made this definitely like what yeah 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 it, it's not self-aware at all that's what's hilarious about it i think a lot of movies we've watched in the past like three months have been like that like you know they, no they weren't all good because of it but a lot of them like took themselves way too seriously right like shit dude uh what was i watching recently i was watching something not too long ago and I had that exact thought. I was like, my God, this is amazing because they think it's not a bad mm-hmm. movie. And it is a very bad movie. <laughs> they're sincere yeah. about what yeah. the horrible dreck they're making. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've i been wanting to do a Sonny Chiba uh, gore score video. And I, mm-hmm. I started doing Street Fighter. And then I can no longer locate it on Tubi. So I don't know if they took it off or what. So I just bought a copy because I was looking for... Uh, box set anyway so i bought one i'm gonna have that one soon um i don't remember why i was telling you all that that movie's awesome have y'all have either of y'all seen that sunny chiba street mm-hmm. fighter nope no i feel like we've talked about this recently maybe we yeah, i think we talked about it last week a little bit might have <clears throat> um there's some really cool shit in it that's like the movie's old enough to where you're like oh that's interesting because there's a part that's really famous in the movie where he's fighting this dude and he like jumps up in the air punches him in the head and it shows an inside picture of his skull cracking but the movie's like dude i think it's the 70s man it's it's pretty incredible. Let's see. I think it's late seventies. Why'd you pick Martin? I don't. I've never even heard of that before. Uh, it's just an early Romero movie that I've heard is really good. Oh, you've heard it's, it's really good. I've never even heard the name of it. Sort of notoriously like difficult to find. Um, oh, yeah. They've been trying to like, <clears throat> I guess, get the rights for it to do yeah. a, do a, do a new print of it. And okay. second think... site is doing a, like a 4k Blu-ray thing for it, but who is they were second site? That's a, that's a UK label. Oh, okay. Um, but they were like, apparently there's like a, a longer cut of it Yeah. that they were trying to find. And they, so they like held off on it. It was supposed to come out like last year, but they held off on it trying to get it but they they never could get it so they just said that they're about to bring it uh it's about to come out pretty soon so but it's uh it's been watching it? it's uh it's in the 70s it's like right before dawn of the dead i think it's dawn of the dead was his next movie so nice. it is it is older uh but it looks interesting it's it's a vampire movie the guy mm-hmm. is told that he's a vampire <laughs> and he's so not <laughs> he, thinks, he thinks he thinks he's a vampire he drinks yes. his blood that's but amazing. you're losing. But you're not it's, really get sick and dies. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Uh, yeah, I think it's unclear. My understanding is it's unclear whether he's actually a vampire or he was just told that he's a vampire. But it looks cool. So cool. Man, lately I've been watching a lot of movies that were like, or I, how do I say this? Lately I've been watching a lot of movies, comma. There are movies that exist frequently that I see that I think, man. This isn't a very good movie, but the actors are so great in the movie that it like kind of makes it enjoyable. I don't really know how else to explain it, but have you seen a movie called Safe House with uh, Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds? Uh, I saw that 
a long time ago. It's an absolutely terrible movie, except that Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds are really freaking good actors. So yeah. they really nailed this movie. Everything else about it is kind of like, it's just, I don't know, man. I watched another movie like Generic. that. Yeah, man. Like, uh, yeah. I don't know. I really love Mel Gibson movies that are like straight to video. And I think that's what I was thinking of just now. Yeah. Because those movies where you're like, this isn't good, but he's so great in it. It's kind of like Nick Cage. He, it really is. It, me realizing that Nick Cage is actually good in his movies, but not all of his movies are good. Maybe yeah. look at movies a completely different way. Because now I don't look at him like, was the movie good? I go, all right, was the guy that I was looking at watching, was that entertaining at all? Because if it was, okay, it's worth a watch. Because a lot of times, <laughs> they can't control if everybody else is suck ass or not. Like, they're there for their job. They're there to do something that they were paid to do. And more than likely, they love doing what they're doing. So they're there for that. But once they get there and they've gotten paid and they're rolling tape, dude, they can't control if the extra people in the movie mm -hmm. are new or nervous or maybe they're kids. So I'm I'm trying to watch movies from a from a different perspective of you know, did I enjoy what I actually wanted out of this, which was a good performance by this guy. Unless it's something like The Northman, where I knew it was gonna be a great movie and I wanted the experience of the whole movie to be great because it, I had a feeling it was gonna be. That one wasn't necessarily dependent upon Skarsgård or uh, what's her face. I mean, Taylor Joy. Yeah, yeah, being great in it. I knew they were going to be great in it. But right. a lot of these other like lower budget movies, I'm looking for performances versus the whole movie. And I didn't used to even think that way. This is very new to me. Like thinking like this is like maybe six months of my life. You know, I haven't thought like this very much. So uh, yeah, a, a really dynamic actor like a Nick Cage or a Mel Gibson. Yeah, somebody, they can elevate something that's just kind of you know a generic story yeah well there's one called edge of darkness that mel gibson did it that's a familiar good, that's a good movie okay so i'm not trying that was like I think, you know, okay i liked it a lot and i was like man i'm surprised this has got it's got a lot of people in it uh, yeah, yeah yeah that's a good movie have i seen that that sounds really familiar he's done another one which is a, what i thought this was there's one where he's a his daughter i think he's like a well race edge cop or something and, and they have okay what uh edge of darkness like his his daughter gets like poisoned, right? And then, yeah, he's, like uh, investigating, like. How and what it I happened. thought, what I thought it was, was the one where he had his daughter, and some people are coming after. She goes to him for help. And, oh. And he is, he's more of like a like I think he even has a beard in that one, maybe. Yeah, I've seen that one too. That one's awesome too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she gets like in trouble with like a cartel, right? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I freaking love Mel Gibson, dude. That guy's awesome. Yeah. But like that movie, that movie's badass too. Yeah, dude, that guy makes good shit, man. Him and Nick Cage need to team up and make something absolutely insane. Uh, <laughs> that would be wild. Yeah. So my next question is, have either of y'all seen the movie called Premium Rush with Jordan, uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Michael that sounds Wilson. familiar, too. Shannon and Michael uh, Shannon, wonder, right? Is he in it? I don't even remember. I just remember Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in it. I haven't seen it in a long while. Yeah, I've never but, seen it, but I, I know of it. Well, I've always ridden bikes, and so like movies like that, instantly get my attention because I, I like that lifestyle i used to want to be a bike messenger in houston but they didn't have many of them so getting the job to do it was really difficult and even though i had the i had the right equipment and everything i just it just was impossible mm -hmm. um premium rush came out and i was all excited because they had like fixed geared bikes and stuff in it and i was yeah. like i was like yo this is exactly this is what i'm into like i do this i ride bikes across houston like i will relate to this movie so i watched it and it was fantastic like it's really like there's stuff in that movie that you'll go, that's not real. I guarantee you it's real because I've seen it and done some of it because it's, as an example, they take their bike chains and they carry them on their on their like belt loops. And when a car does something stupid, they'll take it off and hit the car with it. Like mm. it, it's a form of protection almost. It's really stupid in all fairness. At 40 years old, I don't think like I do when I was 25. You definitely shouldn't do that because with a car, they can just run you over and yeah. they might. But uh, anyhow, I was getting at that. I didn't know that there was another movie about bike messengers way back in like the 80s dude i have one quicksilver yeah bro yeah <laughs> that movie i had ass that bike it's kevin bacon right yes i own that same exact model bike that kevin bacon has you really of course you do. What? yes <laughs> i no, i found it at um a garage sale thrift sale thing and like looked up the bike and it's in the movie. <laughs> that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So that's how oh. I know about that movie. Dude, have you seen it? No. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> wow, I mean, man. Boo. You got me all pumped, and you're like, no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it sounded like he was no, a fan. I, and then he's Dude, like, I nope. really thought you were a fan of it. <laughs> um, Never got around to watching it. <clears throat> well, I can tell you, A, it's on Tubi. B, it's great. Okay. Like, it's really good. They have some, uh, well, it was, I think it was earlier, mid-80s. Let's see. Uh yeah, Kevin Bacon's awesome, dude. And it's a the story is really cool too, man, because um yeah, 86. Okay. So it's about a uh like a Wall Street stockbroker guy. He's hot shit. He's like the dude, he's got a big old house, lots of money, wealthy, you know, drives around with a, a driver and stuff. That's Kevin Bacon. He's real young, he's like mid twenties. And in like one fail swoop, he just loses everything he does some really bad deals and i'm talking like within like a couple of hours he goes from being like wait i have all this money we're gonna do this and he has a plan and then the plan just goes to shit and then he's like what am i gonna do and it, it, part of the money you find out is his parents money and he lost their retirement mm. and so he's like depressed and he's like but at the very beginning of the movie he's driving in this in this in this car as a matter of fact i think he was taking a cab I don't think it was a driver. I think he had, I think he took a cab somewhere, which I mean, technically he's a driver, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> he's in a cab, and they're going to his office, whatever. And he's you know in the back reading the paper, glasses, looking all fancy and shit. And this this black dude rides up on a bicycle next to him, it looks over at him, and he and he kind of like you know they kind of like, hey what's up man hey what's up and it was friendly you know, and uh, so uh, the dude's riding up next to them right, and they're in a car. He's on a bike, and so. The guy starts making funny faces or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was it was uh, it was it was uh, it was it was fun. It was friendly, you know. It was it was a he was basically competing with him, you know, with the with good spirit, you know. And so, uh, I think they communicated back and forth basically that he was going to beat him down this road. And the guy's in the cab, and he's like, "There's no way." So the guy takes off on the bike, and he's like, "Hauling balls, dude, going in between cars." And so Kevin Bacon's like, "There's no way." And he goes, "Hey, man, fifty extra bucks if you can beat this guy to where we're going." And so. They start taking off, right? And it just it just ends really cool. That that's the connection. And so when he's leaving, when he when he loses all his money, he's walking down the street. It shows him, man. He's disheveled. He's very clearly depressed. <clears throat> and it doesn't really tell you how he got to the point in his head, but he walks into this bike shop, picks up a bike, and then goes and wants to go to find this job. I think it was supposed to be temporary, and he fell in love with it. You know, he's like, "No, man, I, I feel good. I'm out here. I'm free. I can." And then one of the things they talk about is like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I can get around faster on a bike. And I always thought that was funny because nobody ever believed me when I told them that. Like, <laughs> I would go from one end of Houston to the other. And like, why don't you take the bus? I'm like, this is so much faster. They're like, yeah. how? And I'm like, well, hey, I don't have to stop. Like, the bus stops every, like, quarter mile. Like, I, I, I don't have traffic. To do yeah, I, I, can, I can ride in between cars. I can get on sidewalks. Uh, I usually was at least reasonably safe on my bike because I, I didn't want to get killed because I've been hit by a car twice. And it's very scary. But, um. Yeah, man, I would beat. I mean, I oftentimes would beat my mom home when she would like, "Hey, I'm coming to your house," and she'd be driving, and I was riding my bike. I would beat her to my house. Like, it wasn't odd at all. Like, it, 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 riding bikes is fun, man. If it, it, in Houston, it's a little scary because people are so freaking rude. Like the drivers <laughs> yeah. are just. Well, I mean, dude, I, I might even make an episode of telling stories. You know what? Write that down so I don't forget because I, I do want to write. I do want to do that. I have two stories that I'll tell. I've been hit with objects while riding a bike twice and have been hit by a car twice. I'll tell all that story. I'll make one whole episode about it. Dude. I've heard those stories. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Fucking avocados hurt, bro. Yeah. I'll just <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. So I uh, officially decided to not do the black roses one. Oh yeah. Like I'm just not doing it. And it's because I feel like, it was funnier just between me and my friends. Mm -hmm. Like I got the satisfaction that I wanted out of doing it, not telling people about it. Like I told y'all cause it's hilarious, but like if I had no friends, I still would have done that. So <laughs> I got my satisfaction. Now if something else happens out of it. I might talk about it more, but like I just decided that I don't, I just don't care about him enough to do that. Like I just don't give a shit. Like the guy's a nothing to me. Like, yeah. um, but, uh, I was telling you that to also say, oh, I think I told you all that I've turned off all the comment notifications. Yeah. Yeah. I'm honestly a little nervous about that because I got a lot of people that really liked that I was involved with the community on there. But what I think I'm going to do is, is like twice a week, I'm going to go through on here on, the, on my desktop 
and I'm going to go through just the comment section, not like each video, because, you know, it, it, it'll pull them all up. Uh oh, here we go. Um, yeah. With emotions, let's go. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm ready. But, um, no, nah, they're back. <laughs> but, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah, I think we're going to go through it like that, man, and just look at it. And, and, and like, I'm going to, yeah. I'm definitely going to block people. Like, I'm just going to block them, and I'm <laughs> going to just, like, I mean, I'm here to like have fun and make some money, bro. Like, and I'm not making a lot of money right now. So all I want to, and I do have a lot of fun arguing with people, but I think I just right now just don't give a shit about it. Like, I don't care. Like, well, there's just, you know, better ways to spend your time. Well, yeah, I just, I just, you know, cause I genuinely like, it's not even arguing. It's like, just like going back and forth with people is fun with me. I like doing mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. but like what I, I genuinely don't care what these people think. If they don't like me, I don't give a shit. Like, I'd rather argue and bicker with my buddy about a movie. And then at the end of the day, we're like, let's go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah. Yeah. bicker and argue with some guy that I don't know. I'm having fun. He thinks I'm actually mad. That doesn't even make sense. That's so stupid. Like, so yeah. based on the fact that I don't give a shit what those people think about me. And, uh, you know, I think it might make, I don't know, it might improve the channel. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways. What else did y'all watch this week? Because I watched a bunch of stuff. I just I just finished watching Ticks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How should, is it? Should, should we have done Ticks instead of Slugs? Uh, it was a little more fun, I thought. Was it really? Yeah. I put it on on VHS at the shop last weekend, but I didn't get to watch it. Anyways. I, got, I got busy with people talking to me and stuff. But yeah. uh, I, I will rewatch it then. It was. I mean, it's it's incrementally better. But yeah, like, but I mean, if it's at least as good as Slugs, I'll enjoy it because I like Slugs. <laughs> it was, it, it's, it's pretty fun. It's a little That's bit cool. better. The action's a little more, a little better than. than it slugs. felt. It felt like a step closer to Eight Legged Freaks than Slugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it, it kind of has an arachnophobia type feel to it. That movie like, is terrifying. Not as good. No, I mean, no, nowhere no. near as good as arachnophobia. Dude, but, John Goodman, bro, come on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but it's awesome in that. Yeah, he yes. is awesome in that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it it, it was pretty fun. That's awesome. Here we go. You watch anything else, Chris? I watched I watched Seventh Curse again. Oh, I haven't gotten mine in yet, so I won't. Um, I, won't, I, won't I mean, yeah, I, I told you all about it already, but yeah, I watched that one again it. already. No, I just I watched it that that one time when. Oh, okay. I was texting y'all about it, so I watched that. I watched a few like Japanese sleazy sleazy movies. Uh, I love that stuff. Nothing, nothing to of note, and the Bob's Burgers movie, Ugh. which has Bob's Burgers. Yeah, if you don't I mean, like Bob's Burgers, like a long ass like... episode of Bob's Burgers, I'd imagine. Yeah, pretty much. I don't hate Bob's Burgers. I just don't watch cartoons very often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched one, Top Gun Maverick episode. finally. Yeah, how'd you like it? It was, it was a really, really good. Yeah, like yeah. awesome American movie, huh? Yeah, I mean the, I mean it's like a good movie for like the first two thirds. And then like the last third of the movie is like, Oh, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. A really yeah. good movie. And then the last third of it, you're like, what in this shit? This is amazing. once they get into the actual like mission, the aerial sequences and like where it goes. It's yeah. Like, so much fun. Yeah. I absolutely just... agree with that. Absolutely agree with that. Um, yeah. I watched a lot of stuff. You know what I watched that? I forgot how good it was, was black mass. Dude. Oh, never seen that. Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp is great in that movie. Like that is a, a good example of a movie that is like a decent movie, but a good performance like really elevates it. Any like, other guy would have made that movie not as good by a mile. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like a great movie, but Johnny Depp no, is but it's, so yeah. chilling in that movie. He's so crazy that it, it's, it's yeah, it's 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 got a yeah. good it's a good enough movie, but it's like. When you're getting things like Goodfellas out there that have like an ensemble cast, you're like, yo, how are you going to even compare to that? So you need a really strong performance from somebody to make it even noteworthy, you know? Mm -hmm. And so this one was good, but then it had this, this dude, it was, I mean, it was insane, dude. It was, he was so, it was terrifying in that movie, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, I watched that one. I watched Quicksilver. I watched Safe House. I watched Edge Edge of Darkness. Then I watched, uh, oh, I watched something actually just a little minute ago. It was called The Protégé. It's one of those other movies that's like, mm-hmm. have you heard of this one? Mm-hmm. Heard of it. Have you seen it, either of y'all? Don't think so. Mm-mm. It's got Maggie Q in it. Is that her name, Maggie Q? It looks kind of generic. It just... 
So, so okay, I, it, it is kind of generic, but that's another example of like a movie that would be nowhere near as good if it was two different people. But it's got Samuel L. Jackson and Michael Keaton in it, and like just because of the way that those guys can sit on a couch and keep your attention, and then Maggie Q is a pretty attractive lady and she's kicking everybody's ass in it. So you're like, okay, this is cool. Uh, it's a, it's a very good example of a movie that you're like, okay, if you want to watch some cool performances in an otherwise okay movie, go watch this because it does have good performances. And I, I'll watch anything with Michael Keaton and Samuel L. Jackson in it. So, sure, um, you know they're getting older, so the the the, the fun action movies that they're going to be in from now on are going to be very few and far between, if at all, I would imagine. So, um, it was cool to see them in something. Yeah, yeah. Michael yeah. Keaton needs to be in more things. He Dude, he be. needs to be in like way more things, and I'll, <laughs> hell, I'll take Samuel L. Jackson in more things. And I know that's not even necessarily possible, but uh, yeah, for I'll sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was cool, man. I thought it was pretty good after watching that Michael B. Jordan garbage can. <laughs> that, movie, that movie sucked so bad that I was like legitimately disappointed. I was like, yo, what? Um, y'all know the guy Ben Foster? Yes, yeah. Have y'all seen Galveston? No. no. I haven't either, but I watched the trailer and, and I, I read a couple of things, like real like short reviews on it. And the words they're using are like performance of a lifetime, breathtaking. So I think I'm going to watch it sometime soon, but it's, it's like a high drama. Like it's going to take, I need to be in the right mood because if I watch <laughs> that and I'm not, I'll be depressed because it looks yeah. like it's a, hmm. it's yeah, more of a, cool. No, he's awesome, bro. He I love great. that dude. He's great. Yeah. I, I think I first noticed him in like, he's a, uh, a hostage is good. I forgot That's about that one. the first one that I noticed him in. And I then I started seeing him, and I was like, what is this guy's in everything? He's in uh, 310 to Yuma. He's like uh, yes. Russell, Russell Crowe's like, si- like, uh, second yep. command. He's like the, so, such a See, bad guy. I forgot guy. about that movie. That movie's badass. Um, also, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, also, uh, 30 Days of Night. Ah, is it 30 Days yeah. of Night? Yeah, he's in 30 Days of Night, and he's got a really like good part in that movie. Yeah, under, I don't underrated, remember him being in that one. Underrated movie. Yeah, I think that movie's badass. Yeah, I like that movie a lot. I just haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, me too. I don't think I've seen it since it came out. Oh, he's in Hell or High Water. That is an awesome yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, definitely. That movie's amazing. Oh, he was in Alpha Dog. That was really cool. He was in The Mechanic. That was really cool. Dude, he's every movie he's in. He's really good in it. Yeah, he's yeah, another he's, one of those guys. It's just he's a great actor, man. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah, see. Ben Foster. Yeah, awesome. Thirty Days of Night. Sure enough, huh? Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember him just popping up in these like small performances in good movies for a long time. But he's like always has a memorable role, you know. Like he'd be in there for like twenty minutes or something, but he's like one of the more memorable memorable parts of the movie. That's exactly that's exactly right. And I wish he would get like a really nice big leading role in something because I think he could carry a movie really easily. He's just he does, not well known enough, you know. He does. He does in more like like smaller movies, like high drama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, more indie or Oscar y top type stuff, but. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. dude, he's, he's one of those guys that when I see his name, I go, What is it? I'm a little interested, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think when he's a little older, he'll become like Ed Harris, you know. Like, I love that guy, anything he's in, even though he does small stuff, I watch oh, anything yeah. he's in. Oh, that <laughs> I love Liam Neeson, dude. He's in the worst movies, I love it so much, man. <laughs> Liam Neeson is just collecting a check. Yes, dude. I think that Liam Neeson has <laughs> made the same movie 14 times in the past three years. Yeah. yeah. They're all like The Commuter, The Guy, The yeah. Rifleman, The Blah, Blah, Blah. Dude, it's amazing. Yeah, I watched that one. Rescuing recently. his daughter from something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, take it, Taken was cool, yeah, and then he, it's just like, dude, it's fifteen it. more times. <laughs> yeah. dude, hey, you know what though? Good for him, man, because he's been around for a long time. Yeah. He was never that famous. I'll tell you what though, that one yeah, with the cool. wolves was awesome. The gray, the gray, the gray was badass, yeah, dude. That movie was good. great. No, yeah. but I, I heard he did it because his his wife died in an accident, so he just started taking roles to keep himself busy. Busy, oh, yeah. that like, surprise me. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean that is a bummer, but. You know, good like, for him for sure. Yeah, getting, go for it. Busy because if I lost Carissa, I would have to stay busy or I would fucking drink myself to death. Yeah, yeah um, go for it. Acting anything. I mean, but uh, well, he's getting I, paid I, well enough for it. So right, Taken was actually a really good movie. Yeah, um, the first one's good. I like Ed Harris a lot, and he was in this movie with Ed Harris that he plays like a like a shitty hitman or something. He's got like a drinking problem. He's like a, he's like just a fucking bum. 
And he, was that the uh, Walk Among the Tombstones? Or no, but I, I heard that one was pretty decent. But I haven't that's seen a, it. That's a good one. That's one of the good ones that he did. Okay, so let's see here. Liam Neeson is in. This one's got. One. Sorry. This one's got two other guys in it that I see in a lot of movies. Okay. Um, they're like young dudes. One of them is called. Uh, one of them's the. He was in. He plays the. Like cop guy in Suicide Squad. He's the goatee blonde hair kind of tall mm -hmm. that guy is in the joel movie something do what joel something is that I right no man but he's he plays, he plays is that... he plays liam Neeson's son in this movie that i'm talking about oh run all night run all night yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's pretty decent man it's, it's not pretty, bad it's, it's pretty decent bad. for like a clearly low budget action flick yeah, I don't know that. I, yeah, Joel Kinnaman. Joel Kinnaman. Okay. Yeah. It's also got Boyd Holbrook, and I used to get them confused all the time. So I thought it was really weird that they were in the same movie. Have you, you know who Boyd Holbrook it, is? He's yeah, in the, Logan. Yeah, yeah, he lo the guy from Logan with the with the metal hand and stuff. Yeah, uh, so him yeah. and Joel yeah. Kinnaman, I used to get confused because they looked similar enough, and they weren't in enough stuff to where I would see them just so often. They feel like they are in the same auditions for the same movie. Yes, and they play the same kind of guys, like the white trash kind of guy. Yes, you know, or, or like the military guy, but usually the white trash kind of guy. Yeah, definitely. but uh, so I watched a movie with I've watched a shitload of movies recently, man. I watched a movie with Joel Kinnaman in it, but it had Anna the Armas in it, and I was watching the trailer. <laughs> Actually, she's the whole reason I hit play. I was, I was watching the trailer, and I was like, "Dang, that girl looks familiar." Because her hair is insane in this movie. It's like really big and curly. Like it's nuts looking, dude. It's like mm -hmm. blonde. It's crazy, bro. But in the in the trailer, I'm watching it and I'm like, man, this is wild. Because it also has other people that are good. And so I was like, okay. And I was like, that girl looks like Anna de Armas. And I was like, that's strange. And you know how sometimes at the trailer, that at the end of the trailer, it'll have like names pop up on the screen in like a row. So at the end of the trailer, I'm thinking, man, that girl looked like Anna de Armas. And it's like, blah, 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 Anna de Armas. I was like, oh, shit, it was. I'll watch this. Like, <laughs> man, uh, it's called, I don't know what the fuck it's called, dude. I'm, I, I'm on, like, overdrive right now. <laughs> oh, it's called The Informer. Okay. Real generic sounding thing. Yeah, another yeah. one that sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. It's got Rosamund Pike in it, too, which is, she's really okay. good. Clive Owen's in it. Right um on commons in it it's it's a cool movie man it's it's one of those movies where you're like you kind of feel bad for the main guy he just keeps getting shitted on you're like yo what can somebody be nice to this guy can somebody can one person not lie to this dude please like he just gets shit on and shit on he gets he's basically the synopsis is very simple it's uh <laughs> recruited by the fbi ex-con and former special operations soldier pete Kozlau, I think that's how you say it, uses his covert skills to try and take down the general, the most powerful crime boss in New York. When a sting results in the death of an undercover cop, he suddenly finds himself caught in the crossfire between the mob and the FBI. And he has to go to prison to get this thing figured out, right? Everybody in this movie is shitting on this dude. And when you find out why he's an ex-con, you're like, are you kidding me? Like, It's like the absolute worst luck out of anything you can imagine, man. <laughs> you remember uh, Con Air? Yeah, he's yes. Nick Cage, man. He protects okay. his wife at a bar and accidentally kills a dude. Holy okay. shit, he is exactly that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is like Conair Jr. What the f, dude? That's hilarious. But yeah, he's protecting Put the bunny back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that needs to be like my fucking thing whenever my voicemail comes on. It just says reading. that. And it goes, <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. So he's like protecting his wife. Gets accidentally kills a dude. Gets twenty years in prison for it. Then they find out that he's Polish and he can speak this language. And he's they start using him and let him out of jail. You know, early or whatever. Start using him. And then something goes awry. And they just literally bail on him. They let him go back to prison. And you're like, what are you fucking people, man? <laughs> but I feel like that would actually happen. I wouldn't Probably. trust any any kind yeah. of authority figure as far as government's concerned yeah, government officials any kind of federal yeah. anything no thank yeah. you man we'll be there for you <laughs> no you won't you'll be there to close the door behind me as i'm getting walked into the prison fuck out of here yeah but uh i had this weird like rosamund pike i think she's so fucking pretty yeah yeah you, like know, her. you know who she is josh mm -hmm. Gone uh, girl. yeah yeah I, and i don't know why you know what i think it is i think it's that movie 
because she's such a fucking psycho bitch in the uh, movie. Yeah. I kind of like that. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like, cut your hair off and punch yourself in the face. Accuse your guy of killing somebody. <laughs> that's awesome. Poor Ben Affleck. That guy's a dick anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a cool movie. That's a good book, though. I read the book. Yeah, good movie. The movie. I, yeah, I, I read the book first, too. That's a good movie, though. Dude, the book is fantastic. Uh, the book uh, goes even further. Yeah, dude. The book's wild. <laughs> the book's real. You know what? I think I'm going to read that book after the one I'm reading now. I'm reading The Lords of Salem, that Rob Zombie movie. <laughs> or, you know, listening to reading it, whatever. But, yeah. man, talk about a, a book that goes further than the movie. Yeah, buddy. Really? This one is wild, dude. Like, I was absolutely dumbfounded by, like, the middle of it. I was like, what just happened? Like, I had to, like, I was laying down in bed listening to it. And at one point, I literally sat up in the bed. And I looked at my phone because I have a timer. I, I set it for an hour. If it goes on longer than that, I just lay in bed trying to go to sleep. But I don't sleep very well. So usually I can, I can make it by the hour I'm finally asleep. But uh, it took me a long time to get to that point. Anyhow, I, I had to look at my timer. I was like, how much longer? Because I'm not going to be able to go to sleep till this is over with. Because it was so <laughs> – it was crazy. And there's a part in it where this girl is like – she's getting taken over by a uh, – I guess it's like a demon or a witch or something. Might be a witch. Anyhow, Maybe this is why you can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I had these problems long before I had any addiction to horror movies. But, uh, it doesn't help, though. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, I, I'm not going to really get into it, but it doesn't hinder me either. I have very bad sleep problems. I was asking my mom about it because Parker's having the same problems, and I think he's got the same issues that I've got, or at least, so, you know, heading in that direction. And According to my mom, we saw doctors, and there is nothing you can do about it. I just don't sleep worth a shit. I could take some kind of like, like a Xanax or something, but like, because I've been prescribed Xanax, I can't take it, man. I take even a quarter of those things, and the whole next day I'm worth a shit, dude. I'm just groggy. I can't get going. So then what? Now I got to take Adderall to get myself picked back up, dude. No, yeah, you thank don't need you, to do that. dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have any desire to do that. So. I just deal with the sleep problems. Now, the testosterone therapy does help with my sleep. So when I go to sleep, I sleep better. So I feel a lot better these days than I used to. Let's say my 30s, I wasn't sleeping good, and I didn't have the luxury of taking that stuff. So, like, you know, it was just garbage sleep every night. But at least now when I do sleep, it's better sleep. But, uh, yeah, dude, this girl's, like, fucking her boyfriend, right? And the description of what happens to her, was so insane because I thought, like, what if this really happened to somebody? That would, nobody would know it happened. So what happens is, is she gets her body gets taken over by, I think it was a witch. And as it's happening, her mind is telling her, hey, man, you're not able to do these things anymore. She's seeing everything happen. She's still seeing through her eyes. She can still hear everything. But she's not the one talking, and she's not the one moving, and she can't do it. So she's watching something else do things with her body. And it's pulling her further and further and further. And I'm describing this horribly, but like she's pulling her further and further away from being in control. And then it just locks her in there and says, I'll take you now. And it's just, that's it. And I haven't gotten to the part where this is resolved yet. So I don't know what's going on. But I so tell you what, you can't sleep. <laughs> oh, bro. And I was just like, man, I really want to know what happens next. So I'm going to listen to some of it after this before i work and then go to bed and before i go to bed i'm gonna listen to something like maybe some music or something because <laughs> i need to not well because it was just too interesting man I, like i think rob zombie wrote the book too and if he did man he needs to stick to writing really? books because it's way better than the movie and this is like one of the few movies that he made that i did enjoy I, that's why i picked the book to read so i thought okay i like the movie okay uh let's see what he how he writes a book and it's way different i think due to the fact that you know you can only do so much with a movie with a budget so it's a different uh, medium yeah. yeah so like i think that i really think that if he wrote more books i would become a fan because i like his music okay he seems like a cool enough guy i watched his podcast with rogan he seems cool but his movies are just not for me man i got a couple i like and then everything else i'm like eh. but uh yeah. speaking of him did you see that trailer for monsters no oh my god God, it looks like a giant pile of shit. Oh, does it really? Uh, That's oh why I'm not a Monsters yet. fan. Uh, I am. So maybe, maybe if uh. I like <laughs> knew a little more and was a bigger fan, you know, maybe it speaks to fan. I, I, but why? I mean, like, I'm oh not my. like a huge fan, but I grew up watching that show, man. I need, I need a reaction video. Right? I have watched. Yeah, okay. I, you probably should because okay. <laughs> either I say either you're gonna love it, maybe, but. 
Oh, I had a I'm, feeling I'll, I wasn't gonna. That's why I haven't watched it yet. So yeah, I was like, oh, this looks like the worst. This looks worse than Bad Milo. Like this looks <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Is that our bar now? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, that's definitely the bar. That's definitely the bar, Randy. Hate oh, to tell you. <laughs> You're welcome, fellas. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, maybe I don't get it, but. So okay, it what about it looks terrible to you? Because the show's pretty it, campy. It's all in black and white usually. I mean, they have a colored version out there that I don't. No, it like it it jumps back and forth between color and wait what black it, the the trailer jumps back and forth between color and black and white. I don't really know why. It just it doesn't make a lot of sense. So like, should I just do a blind reaction and then look into it a little bit? Yeah. I think you should. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> dumb. What? Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Yeah. Maybe why? I just... Why Rob Zombie? Why this one? Wait. Why... What do you mean? Why? Why did he do this? Yeah. Why? Dude, this was... is like like on his bucket list, bro. This is like high priority to him. Oh, so this is a passion project for passion him. project. Yes. Okay. That's a, yeah. uh, okay. As far as I understand it, yes, that's the case. Yeah, that's why I say like maybe, you know, maybe he's doing it justice, and I just I'm not aware. I mean, there is the possibility that and... he's doing something right that you just don't know is right. True. But I, I... But I also trust your opinion, so. I'm very much right now teetering on the edge of a fence going, I don't know where I'm going to fall. <laughs> yeah, so but, you uh, might you might watch this and think I'm crazy. Or well, I doubt it. Maybe you'll uh, – yeah, who knows? I mean, either, either either way, like you probably should get a good reaction out of it. Oh, man, that's crazy, dude. I, I was a little surprised whenever uh, Jamie mentioned that it was up, and I didn't even respond to it because I didn't want to start talking about it because then I knew I was going to go look at it. That's why I didn't respond to it at all. I was like, oh, I don't even know if I want to watch this because I was looking at all the set photos and I wasn't very impressed. And it wasn't that they don't look like they took time doing it because they do. But yeah, so like, I wasn't right and taking time are not often the you know the same thing. So or not always the same thing. Excuse me. You know, yeah. so you, you can be careful with something and still mess it up. So yeah, I wasn't really planning on watching it, but I was watching something else on YouTube and it popped up and went. Oh, you mean the the uh, trailer? Yeah, I was like, well, let's see. Well, like the movie, I'm very much on the fence about, man. I don't know. What the fuck, dude? Uh, I don't I don't know, man. Just based on the fact that it's a Rob Zombie film, I was very hesitant to be interested in it. His track record with me is not very good. And the thing is, is like, had he made like the Halloween movies that he made? My main gripe is that he changed stuff that hasn't been changed since the inception of that franchise. And like... If you're going to do that, why make Halloween? Why not just make a movie that's a ripoff of Halloween like everybody else does and just call it something else and it would have been awesome. You mean like he did with House yes. of a Thousand Corpses? That's exactly what I was getting at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, well, but I'm serious though. Like, Why not just make another movie and call it something else and have a very strong uh, you know, uh, inspiration? Uh, from, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. will care. Nobody would give a shit. Dude, Hatchet is way better than Friday the 13th, but people still love Friday the 13th. They're not going to, they don't care. Just go make your movie and, yeah. and people will like it if it's dope. If he had made it, if it wasn't called Halloween and that wasn't Michael Myers and that wasn't Michael Myers' mom doing the things that she was, it would have been a way better movie to me. The, my main problem is that he took characters that we've known and loved for all these years and changed integral parts of their backstory and who they were. And I just Boy. don't think that's cool, man. I think that's fucked up. Don't do that, man. It's just like when they do, do this shit with comic book characters. It drives me nuts. If you want a character of a certain color, uh, uh, sexual orientation, size, shape, whatever, make your own, please. I will happily read it and then support it. I don't mind more. Don't change the one I've already got. It's stupid. But I'm a man of habit, and I like things the way I like things. You know? <laughs> I like... Uh, I don't change things that I do because I don't want to. So I don't want to change things that, that I love mm -hmm. and enjoy. It drives me nuts. But, don't, uh, don't fuck with the recipe, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, I mostly agree with that. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, look, dude. A perfect example is Miles Morales. They yeah. wanted a different Spider-Man. They made one. He's badass. You can't tell me they can't do it. They did it. Yeah. yeah. You know, they wanted a, 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 a you know, Spider Gwen, awesome character. I also think that whenever they did uh, Jane Foster Thor, I think they did it right. I yeah. like the way they did that. Now, it wasn't quite the same what I'm talking about, but it was close. They wanted a Lady Thor, so they had to create one, so they wrote a story where it made sense. It made a lot of sense the way they did it. I liked that story. It wasn't the best, but I liked it. And, uh, yeah. you know, I just don't understand why they have to go, anybody of any kind, of any art, going to go take something that already exists, that people love, and has been around for decades, and you're going to just go change something integral about it? Like, that shit drove me nuts. But whatever, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really <laughs> matter. 
Yeah. For sure. Fuck yeah. Well, that's an hour, folks. Um, yep. That's an abrupt stop. We're like, fucking, all right, see you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Are y'all even at all? I, I'm almost hesitant to ask you this. Are y'all even the slightest bit interested in Malignant 2? No. What? No, Is I was that kidding. a thing? I was kidding. No, no. no. I was <laughs> <saying>. Wait. <laughs> what I was actually talking about was Halloween Ends, but I thought right before I said it, I thought, oh, it would be funnier if there was a Malignant sequel. And so that's what I said. <laughs> I'd be more interested in Malignant, I think. Really? Uh, no, uh, not really. <laughs> I was like, that's a bold statement. So, um, I, so, I mean, they're, they're saying it's going to be like a complete departure from like... What are they? Well, it already is a complete departure. Like, what I, the yeah, hell are they gonna, at all. gonna make it a musical? Like, what? What? <laughs> well, apparently, that's what they're doing with uh, which one's coming out? There's gonna be a musical that's coming out. It's a, uh, it's oh, yeah, uh, Joker, Joker two. Yeah, yeah Joker dude. Two. What are we talking, dude? What is? Oh my goodness, makes me so. Everyone's mad. so upset about it, <laughs> dude. I mean, is that really happening? That sounds like said. it. Yeah, then they have to. Be, they deserve to be upset. I mean, they should be upset about that. That's the most preposterous thing I've ever heard of. They're not be changing their mind now. Sounds kind of cool to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Go fuck off. I don't. Yeah, what doesn't... really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm a little surprised by that. Huh? Do something I different. Why. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't need different. We've already just discussed this five minutes ago. I don't need different. Leave it the way it fucking is. <laughs> we're going to do, do another Joker movie that's exactly the same as the first Joker movie. I mean. No, they can just do something. I don't know. Not a fucking musical. Not a musical. Like, yeah. I mean. I'd be okay with pretty much almost anything else. But well, I, mean, I get your point. And I, I understand your point, And I, I even mostly agree with that. I just think that musical is like the wrong direction. Like. Well, well, I'd be better. If, I'd be happier if they made it a cartoon. Like, like we'll see before. how much it actually is. I think they might have a musical element to it. But okay, well, that would make a little more sense and at least make me want to go watch it. Because if it's a full blown musical, I'm not going to go see that in the theater. I don't. I don't like musicals that much. I've, I've seen a couple that I like. Yeah, I like the ones that you would think I would like. You know, Rocky Horror Picture Show is the one I like the best. <laughs> right. I like. I like Little Shop of Horrors pretty good. But I mm -hmm. mean, if it has like. Let me try to think here. Less music than Little Shop of Horrors. It, you know, that one's pretty... If it's, all death, of... if it's all death metal music, I'm in. <laughs> okay, no, no. I, I would be interested in that because I would I would like to just see how that works. That would blow my mind a little bit. But like, yeah, I just don't... I don't know, man. The idea of a musical for that... Even like thinking I about mean, the first movie and thinking like, yeah, but how would that even work? Because a musical... I don't know. When I think musical, I guess I just think... Honestly, I mean, like, I just always thought that that movie didn't need a sequel, and I'm pretty I'm sure that. they thought they it didn't need a sequel, so they're like, okay, you guys want to give us money for a sequel? We're going to do something fucking weird. <laughs> I'm like, well, nope. I guess I can get behind that train of thought, because yeah. I also don't necessarily need a sequel to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little interested, I guess, because of how good the first one was. But I also, when I first left the theater, I was extremely depressed and thought, I don't ever want to see a sequel <laughs> to this movie in my lifetime. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, well, strange, we'll man. Very we'll strange. See. I'm but, open. Uh, I'm open to see what they do. With I'll it. probably watch it. So, who yeah, knows? I mean, it depends on how much of a, of a, of a musical it is. If it's a full on, like, very little dialogue without singing in it. I don't have any desire to watch that. But if it's like a movie with four or five songs in it, all right, I'm cool with that. Like if fucking it, Hamilton with if the it's Joker. In, I'm even more intrigued if it's that because I want to see how <laughs> that works. <laughs> I mean, I'll just listen to you tell me how great it is because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like it. You probably will. Sure. <laughs> you know. But uh, all right, fellas, I'll talk to y'all later. Is anybody going tomorrow night? Because I am not. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. No. Why are you not going anywhere? COVID. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> not a good idea to go somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm skipping tomorrow night. I just don't I haven't. They've had dude, this last couple of months, man. It's been a bunch of duds for me. Yeah, um, I, was like, I don't dislike Starman, but it doesn't fit for a graveyard shift. I don't think. Yeah, my buddy's coming into town from Huntsville for like 36 hours, and I won't have a lot of time to hang out with him. So I'm going to try to go see him for a couple hours and have dinner or something. But uh, well, we were, <clears throat> Hugh and I were talking about maybe going bowling or something. Oh, dude, let me know. You want to do that? Just hit me up. Let me know. Okay. Um, I'm going to probably go to the shop, but not for a long time. So I'll have some. I need to get my oil changed before I do anything else. I'm going to do that. And then I run to the store, pick up stuff to ship out on Saturday morning. And, you know, and yeah, unless I have people just run into the store, I'll be free most of the afternoon and evening. Well, 
You know, it'd be in the evening anyway. Okay, okay. Nine or nine or ten or something like that. Anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's way easier. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just, Perfect. Since we're not going to the movie, just excuse to go do something. Do something. Yeah, out. yeah. You play pool. Yeah. Just go play pool. Uh, I would love to go bowling, but I'm afraid that if I do that, I might go hang out. But if I do that, I might fuck my knee up. Yeah. yeah. But I'll go hang out. I, I, I genuinely love to bowl, so well, I would like to go bowling. If we go to, I know there's main event by your house. Well, they have pool and bowling. They have both. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm down for whatever, man. I got a little bit of money. Not a lot. I, can, I can go do something. Okay. Awesome, man. All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. We're gonna be watching George A. Romero's Martin. It's available on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, watch it with us. Hang out. We'll be back next next Thursday. Have a nice day, night, morning, whatever the fuck time it is where you're at. All right, later.